country. Well, it's, well, it's directly to a speaker. Let's try it to open. Of this speaker right here. This will be for our art outboard test today.
can play, pause, rewind, or skip uh, music via the uh, smartwatch uh, interface. Virtually, you can uh, control the phone via the smartwatch. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, let's assemble everything now and put it all back together. everyone to make their own choices. 
This doesn't mean we can suddenly throw caution to the winds. In fact, more than a year into this pandemic, we all know that close contact, such as hugging, is a direct way of trying. Made one, seven, nine, eight, eight thousand six. His company, GasProductServices.com, is your best. Inside or out, GasProductServices.com offers installation and repair of gas grills, gas lights, gas logs, fire bowls, fire pits, torches, and outdoor. I guess it's low battery. Let's charge it first. Let me open this up. Let's connect first with the Bluetooth. Search new device, Redmi. Yes. Connect. Alright, there you go. Pair. Yes. Okay. Connected, all right. Let's trim CNA. This is Singaporean station CNA country. Again, I'm streaming an online radio station via PC radio apps installed on my Redmi phone, and it's uh, being directed to the uh, uh, our homemade Bluetooth speaker. A smartwatch converted to a speaker. Support, you know, I have to support his decision. Yeah, somebody will have to give way. Kitchen. If you're planning a new house, call Russell for design advice on indoor and outdoor gas products. He's a pro who can work with you and your architect. Maybe you're tired of dragging in firewood and cleaning out the ashes. Well, call Russell. He'll install beautiful gas logs. You have a fire pit or a fire bowl or some other gas device that doesn't work anymore? Call Russell at Gas Product Service. Police reform and transit. Listen live Thursday night starting at 7 on 93.9 FM and AM 820 WNYC. This is 1A. I'm Celeste Headley in Washington, sitting in for Jen White. This spring, the median price of a single-family home in the U.S. price and 100000 more than she paid just two years ago. And that means that buying a house right now is, well, it's tough. Hi, my name's Delaney. I'm from Fort Collins, Colorado. Hey, it's Lisa calling from Bethesda, Maryland. This is John from Orlando. My husband and I just recently bought our first home and the process was insane. We had many houses that we lost out on. A home in Annandale, Virginia, and uh, it was listed coming soon. Before it was even open, we had an offer for 20000 over the asking price, sight unseen, waiving all contingencies, and allowing us to leave all the unwanted furniture and junk in the house. So it was remarkable, it was easy, and it sure is a seller's market out there. I saved the money. So what is making this housing market so historically weird? And will home prices continue to go up, up? Like you see it. Without the normal political correctness, you may have grown comfortable with it. It's time for the Texas Perspective on current news. This is in Jibia, a town in President Muhammad Buhari's home state of Katsina. VOA House says more than 40 people were taken, including women. Details of the attack remain sketchy. Nigeria has seen increasing violence this year, with attacks by the Islamist insurgency group Boko Haram, rising conflict between farmers and herdsmen, and a surge in kidnapping for ransom. Hundreds of people have been snatched this year by bandits, many of them students taken from their schools. The United Nations Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights is urging Uganda to amend a bill to ban same-sex relations that it says 
would violate human rights COA from Geneva. The bill passed by the Ugandan parliament this past week, but not yet final. Well, the speaker could be so loud. You could wake up in the morning with that alarm. <laughs> anyway, there goes my project uh, for now. It's working and it's good, it's loud, it's clear. I hope you like it. Until next time, goodbye.